Hi there, this is Sheila, and welcome back to the Painted Pig for the Betty Part Part 7, I believe. And uh, let me start by welcoming Polly's Pretties as a new subscriber. Hugs and kisses to you, Miss Polly Pretties. And uh, I will try to link your uh, Facebook, I mean your <laughs> YouTube channel below because she does have like 400 and some odd subscribers. So, might be something you want to check out. Okay, so the Betty. Now, um, I was playing around this morning and um, came up with this. And again, that doesn't mean that I invented it. It just means that I was looking at my stuff and came up with the idea. And that's the way it happens many times. <clears throat> so, what I did was, um, I have a, um, a die cut, old die cut machine that I've talked about before, my big kick. And I had some circular dies. And so... And I didn't punch that hole exactly where I would have liked. But <laughs> anyway. Um, so I made some circles and um, backed them with some uh, paper. And my idea is to uh, use these as, these as belly bands for the little circle, circular um, notebook. Or whatever you want to call it. And so these are also from a die set that I have for that machine. And these are stamped that I used glossy accents in the middle to make that more three-dimensional and um, more like a real cameo. And I just fussy cut it. But let me say this, and I don't often... Um, I don't enough do this. Don't do this enough. <laughs> but I've got a lot of stuff. I've been doing this for many years. And so I've got a collection. I, I've done scrapbooking. So I've got, there's a lot of scrapbooking stuff that, that um, uh, crosses over. And, <coughs> excuse me. The stamping and the dies and such. And the papers. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little tickle in my throat. But as since I am urging um, this channel is aimed towards seniors and beginners, so I just wanted to say you don't have to have all that stuff, especially when you're first starting out. So a way to do the circles is to use any circular object. In this case, I used a jar. <coughs> And just trace around it and take your scissors and cut cut the circle out now granted it's a little bit more difficult and time-consuming but <coughs> excuse me it definitely can be done and as for a belly band if you've got a bone folder you can use that and taper both ends of it and that, if you did that on a um, pretty patterned paper, that would be a perfect belly band. Now, so I'm going to urge you to start looking at objects that you have in your house in different ways. So, yes, this is a bone folder, but there may be other things that you can use that would work as well. So, just start looking at things with that in mind, and you'll be surprised what you can come up with without having to purchase all this stuff, okay? Now, for my little booklets, I've um, um, punched the hole because I'm thinking that I'm just going to run my, this is Baker's Twine, but you could use thread, um, embroidery thread especially. Or just double, triple sewing thread to do it. But uh, I'm just going to, I think, <laughs> I'm going to try anyway, <laughs> to 
to read this through there. This is ridiculous. Sheba. Between my eyes and my shaky, jumpy fingers, I'm telling you. It's it's quite a challenge sometimes to craft. Now, I'm thinking I can do this. I'm hoping I can do this. Uh, I'm hoping this will work. So, I've not tried it yet. So, this is... Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do a knot. Okay. And then a little bitty bow. And I don't know if I can do the bow with my fingers, but I certainly can't do them with anybody else's, can I? So, let's see. Um, uh, I did it. I did it. So, now let's see how that works. <clears throat> Not really well. Let's see. I mean, yes, it can be done, but I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, we're going to try something different. Uh, bear with me. see. Okay. Let's see what a, um, just a minute, just a minute. No, <laughs> no I won't. <laughs> Brad. Okay, let's see what a Brad will do. So we've got the Brad, and then we can just Still taking up a little bit of room on there, but I think that that's what I'm going to go with there. And I'm not, well, yes, I can't find another one to match. How about that? So, if I can ring it. <laughs> okay, so I spent five minutes so far and haven't done a whole heck of a lot. Okay, now, these I'm going to, while I'm gluing, <clears throat> I have written down your basic junk journal terms, and there's not a lot different from these basic things. So, you've got your tags, you've got your pockets, you've got your corner pocket, you've got tuck perhaps corner tuck um, and you have a belly band which is what this is you have flip outs trifolds and wrap arounds which wrap around the pages and that's I mean it's just all variations of those pretty much is what you put in your journal now there may be some I'm forgetting and by all means comment below if I have left one out that you can think of and um, then, of course, you've got your signatures, your binding, and then you can do a floating spine. There's lots of different things you can do. Uh, you can do a fabric cover. You can do a paper cover. But it's just all going to be basic variations on the same thing. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, let me get this one on there. And did I mention this was glossy accents? Yeah, I did. And it took a while for this to dry, so it's right at lunchtime, and I apologize if if my tummy starts talking because I am getting hungry. <laughs> but while this was drying, I did print out some digitals from a new kit I got, and I think I'm gonna like it really well. And I also used some um, um, stickles for the little glitter um, shiny parts. And so that, that's going to go all right with that uh, bread being shiny, glittery as well. So you're just going to have to do it like that to write little notes on it. I think that'll be fun. Now I've taken some lace. Now this was the lace, this this was what the width of the lace was. It had just kind of a straight side and a scalpy side. So I just 
put it back to back and so I've got a wider area of lace. Now, I want to put these on here. What do you think? I believe that's about the right place. And I'm just going to glue that, the little ends there. Because I want to leave enough room for my circle to go in there. And I'm just going to, I hope that's going to stick. I might have to use Fabri-Tac. <clears throat> no, I think that's going to be fine. And I've kind of squeezed it just a little bit so it's not real, real tight, but I think I'm going to have to flatten it back, because it's going to need to be slightly tighter than that. Now, what I did was, um, there it went, <laughs> um, I had printed this from a digital, and it is, um, uh, Um, let me see. Let me tell you real quick. It's um, Cotton and Twill. That's what it was. It's a digital kit from Cotton and Twill. And um, so these are kind of coordinating papers here. And I cut, did the die cut. The, the paper was cut just on regular copy paper, so it wasn't strong enough. So I went ahead and did some cardstock uh, cutouts as well and just glued the paper onto the cardstock to make it slightly sturdier. Okay, let's do this side. Oh, I think my Barely Arts is getting, starting to get a little low, finally. <laughs> it has really, I mean, it's only like a two ounce bottle and it has really lasted. Yeah, two ounces. I probably shouldn't put that in there yet, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay, did I not glue that side? I did not. No wonder. It doesn't want to stick. I bet you saw that. I bet you were yelling at me. Stick it. Glue it. <laughs> Okay, I'll get my head in there. How's that? And then that's going to slip in there. I think that's going to work just fine. Now, I I like it. I, I don't know. I hope you do too. But let me know. Don't be afraid to tell me if, it, if you think it looks awful. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, leave some of the music showing. And I knew that I had not really done a belly band in here yet. So, that's what I came up with. And I'm going to put these little pearls, flat back pearls, which I have a hard time handling. I don't want that right for me. And I don't have fingernails either. That uh, would probably help. Okay, got it. Okay. Well, I don't have very long fingernails. I've got, they're starting to grow. I need to probably cut them. I don't like, I used to have long fingernails where I used to get, get them done, you know, fake fingernails. <clears throat> then I got tired of spending so much time of my life <laughs> in the manicure, waiting to get the the manicure. Okay, so that's gonna fit right there, and that's gonna fit right there. And there we have it. So let me know what you think about that page. And like I said, you don't have to have a die cut machine to do this at all. And um, as far as the little emblem in the middle, you can draw something, you can uh, go to the dollar store and get stamps and ink. It, they're not, it, I mean, you know, there's ways of doing this. Um, and if you want to go back and look at uh, Amy Johnson's, her channel is Al John, and I always have it linked below. 
she has a crafting on a budget series that I mean it's like 200 episodes or so. I mean well, it goes a whole year and, and more and um, it's all beginner crafting and all, and it's on a budget five dollars a week it's all she spent so it's very basic and uh, it's good experience and yes I did make my little my little um, topper for I didn't have no idea if it I just saw others doing it and I thought well, well I'm just gonna give it a try so that's what I came up with I know they sell them on Etsy for like from 750 up but um, see this again I had all that stuff so I thought that uh, I would give it a go okay I've got my timer set so we're I uh, set it for 20 and we're at about six and a half so let me um, well, we've, we've got time and I didn't have anything else prepared so let me just go and show you some more of this digital kit why not from cotton and twill there were some solid pages like this that coordinated and the two that I've used and I've um, and then there were these journal pages that um, I've used some of these as well but this is there were two sets this is the second set so as you can see if I mean you could in theory just fold these and use the solid solid ones for backing put them on both sides and there you go to me that's kind of cheating so <laughs> I just like to use the pretty pages in different ways but I just feel like if I'm going to do a junk journal I'm going to make it you know what I mean I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use a kit not, I'll use components from a kit but I don't want to use the, the kit entirely. Okay, so why don't we just go ahead and put this where it goes. And yeah, I did cut, cut that out of something. <laughs> There's lots of stuff. I would hate for you to see my whole desk right now. <laughs> but so, You've got this side, and then that goes into sort of a pink theme for a minute. So I'm probably going to use a pinkish, some kind of, some of these maybe with the pink in them, or maybe some with the green um, here on this page. <clears throat> Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but here's what we've got so far, and. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to hang, I started hanging these little specimens with the dried flowers, and I thought, well, that doesn't exactly pertain to the journal. So what I'm going to do, I've cut the coin flips in half. I'm going to cover this with something that will coordinate well with that, and then I'm going to cover the front then insert the little picture of Betty. This is one of Betty's pictures. And then I'll cover the back with something pretty. And then that's going to hang right there. Just like the, the other ones. I went ahead and did three of them for the three signatures. And then I decided I would rather have this. So that's going to be something I'll work on. So you remember this. The, the bag that I put. So I'm not going to do it right at the minute. Now, I've got a little corn pocket, corn envelope there. I may put another one up there because it's a corner tuck. And then we have some um, printed vellum. And then we have some dyed papers with, um, oh, I'll have to see if I can fix that. It's a little fragile, isn't it? Okay. I can always replace it. Remember, there's nothing you can't fix. 
There's the one we did today. And this is just a little booklet that's tied at the top and just clipped in with this paper clip. This is a tag that's not been embellished, but I propose that it will go there. You've seen this with Betty and the journaling card and the tag with her mother. She and her mother walking downtown. <coughs> and <coughs> I've covered both sides of these center envelopes and they're gonna the tags will go in this way and we'll decorate those up and, and decorate these two pages. Then uh, decorate this side and this side. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but we'll figure it out. This is the one, the video that I just got uploaded or is uploading as we speak. And it's got a flip, a tag, a tag, and I don't think that this was in there when I showed, when I did the video, and then a little tag there. So that's how it turned out. And we've got an unadorned tag in this corner pocket. And this needs to be decorated. And then we've got this tag for there. And these all can be written on the back. Won't do anything here. That's going to be for journaling. This will be for journaling. And then um, I'm proposing to put this scrap cluster here, and I'll do something there. I've got this this uh, little journaling tag. Journaling tag, that's another. But it's still a tag. Or journaling card. Mm, that's what it is, journaling card. And then this in the back. And so the first signature is very close to being finished. I hope you will join me for the next episode of the Betty, and I'll try to come up with something new and different, um, or at least different to you, <laughs> uh, in the next installment. So, until then, it's, oh, and I put sticky tape, I mean, um, washi tape on my arm because I forgot to the sweater off. Okay. <laughs> so, take care. Stay well. Hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye.